Okay, so this is my house. This is my drawing room. This is the living area, and these rooms are private. Let's not go over there. But what I'm going to show you is my world, my studio where I work. Lots of chairs. Yes. So this is the door to my world. Let's go. I have spent the last six, I will say yes, around six years in this room. And for shooting my videos, I have this camera. And yes, this is this is where I live. This is where I teach, and this is where I work. Living a normal life for me is impossible. Sometimes, like those little things, going outside, just having fun with my friends, I do miss that. I have to like cover myself, wear a hoodie. But uh, I really wish sometimes that I could just live a normal life and see how that goes. But I mean, this is better. <laughs> Even if people didn't like it, people checked it out. So that's why I think it blew up. You have to divide a line between what you want to speak and what is right. And you have to use it in a positive way. Otherwise, what's the point of having freedom of speech? So let's to my brother's studio who produces all my music. You have to remove your slippers for his studio. That's a big deal. Do not bring your shoes in his room. Bad, very bad. This is the studio. Being very visible online, it is a bit hard on my mental health because I mean, honestly, I cannot just be open about everything. I have to keep some things private, right? When I'm writing songs, I can say what I'm not able to say usually. Power brings responsibility, always. So. You have to make sure that your audience do not get influenced in a negative way. You're showing them like to never give up, to be happy, be positive because